Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Uh, Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm out here in Glasgow at the public workout for Willie Lemon against Joe Laws. And I'm always delighted. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, whatever you may think, Tyler Jolly, I'm always delighted to have you on the channel. Thanks, mate. Thanks very much. Even though you called me out, as soon as I saw you there, you <laughs> called me out for a few rounds spawn. Oh, no, no. That, that was you. That was you. Come that on, you. tell the truth. I'll tell, you, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I've got one round in me, and I'm willing to get beat. And I'm willing. Get, that's what I'm saying. And I'll, and I'll get. <laughs> so you can knock me out. Is that what you're saying? Easy. Easy. Listen, it's not about me and you. Although I will make it about me and you one day. <laughs> um, yeah, you're going into your fourth professional fight. Um, as Craig Stevens alluded to there, 100% knockout re record so far. Um, three fights, three kills. Very much the same come May third of me. Hopefully, mate, uh, I, I want you to maybe show a bit more skill. Hopefully, this boy's a bit tougher. I think he's only been stopped once before, so his record suggests it is a bit tougher. So, hopefully, just give me a few rounds I can show that I, I am not just a big puncher. I've got skills I can use. I'm a better boxer than I am a puncher, to be honest. Uh, I've just not been able to show it yet. Well, that's the thing. Obviously, when we see, especially young fighters that have gone through the Commonwealth Games cycle and Olympic cycle and the medal, they get fast tracked a little bit better, and again, you touched on it in the interview there with Craig Stevens that you go and fight the, every country's best fighter, and then you take that step down and fight these journeymen, which could be frustrating for the fighter. But because your extensive amateur record and the internationals that you've had for Scotland, are you ready for that step up, step up? A guy that's maybe got a, a very, very good winning record, who's been there a little bit, maybe on that fringe sort of European level. One hundred percent. Like I said, um, I've been on the top level amateur for a few years now. Um, when I was younger uh, and I was winning medals as well I wasn't just uh, got to these tournaments so you do take a step back as soon as you turn pro but everybody does it you need to earn your like learn your craft I mean it's a different sport so and I fully understand that but it is getting to the point now where I need a challenge I need to be fighting boys with a winning record with a title even a Scottish a Celtic something just to get a bit more grip between your teeth at training I always train hard and uh, I'm always fit but it just gives you a bit more, kind of I mean, when, you're, when you know uh, this is going to be a harder fight. Mm. Well, there's a lot of fans up there on the balcony bit there, and uh, they might not know who Tyler Jolly is. They might just look at your record and be like, yeah, he's a knockout, that's what we come to see. And the casual fan will look at your record and be like, yeah, knockouts, that's what we like to see. But you do have a, a, a skill set, and when you do fight these journeymen, you, you, again, you touched on it a little bit there, that it's probably hard for you to get up to. But when you do have that 50-50 fight, and you've got somebody with the same ambition as you that's come yeah. to take that jaw off, that, the jaw, your jaw clean off, that's when we're going to see the best Tyler Jolly? That is when you'll see the best me. I always performed better when the opposition was better. Um, I was boxing like world number ones, like Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Uh, that's that next thing. And I was always performing really well, winning sometimes. Ken, you don't always win as a high level amateur, but that's part and parcel because you're boxing the best in the world. But I fully, fully believe with the skill set I've got, the mindset I've got, um, I, and I do punch. Which in amateurs, it's hard to show that you've got a hard punch. Like you need to be hit a high skill level because it's everyone's fast. You don't get to plant your feet much. Whereas now, I'm finding it easier to land the bigger shots. So I'm being able to, being able to show that I am a puncher as well. Um, but I, as soon as somebody comes on, it plays into my game. I'm more of a boxer uh, than I am a gun forward and knocking folk out, to be honest. So I, I can't wait for somebody to come at me. That's the thing, you say that you're more of a boxer than a puncher, but again, you hold the record for the fastest knockout in the Commonwealth Games in 11 seconds. Um, that'll so, probably, so you keep hearing, that's something to live off, I'm telling you right now, I'd live off that for the rest of my days. Um, you've got that perfect record, I think you've only went two first round knockouts, I believe, as well, and enough, you went yeah, four rounds, exactly. So you, you've done it, you, you do have that power, which is obviously that good equaliser to have, and it's always good to have, but you, you're, you're more than that, like you alluded to. So. Um, I suppose I'm going to just go straight to the question I want to ask is obviously, and I've asked you this before, we've got Josh Taylor in that world scene right now and we only have one fighter that's always been generational, whether it be like a Ken Buchanan, Jim Watt, Scott Harrison, uh, Alex Arthur, da -da -da -da, Ricky Burns and then Josh Taylor, but we need more of yous, but we do need a guy to take over that flag and fly that flag for Scotland and again, are you confident that's you? I'm 100% confident. There's always, there's uh, also the Tanya Collins is doing really well now. Lee McGregor's still a bit, Josh is still a bit right now, but I understand he'll know be a bit much longer, Ken. But you've got them two names, you've got me coming through now, you've got other boys in this bill. Like, this is probably the best Scottish boxing kind of roster, if you would call it that, that we've had for years, I would say. Uh, you've got Lazarini turning pro, you've got Stephen turning pro. 
Um, like you've got really good boxers turning pro now. What is over the years? Anybody who's kind of turning pro and like they were just kind of turning pro to, to be a pro boxer. If that makes sense. But you're boy, getting boys turning pro now with ambition. Uh, like myself, I fully believe in myself to be a, a future world champion and making big nights in Glasgow and getting Scotland right behind me. Well, we'll touch on it then. Josh Taylor's rematch against Carroll. I mean, you're probably a biased jock and I probably know the answer, but how do you see that fight going? I am a biased jock, uh, like yourself, but I, I, the best Josh Taylor beats the best Jack Carroll. And I actually watched the first fight uh, with no commentary a few weeks ago when I couldn't sleep. And it's a lot closer fight than everybody thought. See, because the commentator saying, "Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this," you're always looking for that. But if you turn the turn the commentary off and watch it again, it's a closer fight. I gave it to Josh by one round when I watched it again. So I think the best toss Josh Taylor turns up this time and smokes George, uh, Jack Carroll. Let's go back to me and you then, because I think this might be a fight that's brewing. Can you take a body shot? <sighs> I'm a body puncher. Listen, I'm my left hook to the body. Okay, you've got a nice six pack. I'll give you that. <laughs> I'm being wet horn, mate. We're made of hard stuff. Don't worry about that. I'm being there doing Edinburgh, man. We're harder. Oh, believe me. <laughs> How do I look at? I need to look up. Listen, Tyler, always a pleasure, my brother, man. And uh, I'll see you in the third, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.